Hey everyone, it's Emmy from Roo TV. Using a male text-to-speech robot because I'm struggling to film a voiceover at home. LOL crazy times. We've been listening to your requests for editing tutorials, especially recently, where people are learning new skills. So here you go. Yay. In this video I'm going to summarize the editing process, which will include some technical and practical advice for beginners, as well as give some general tips to improve your editing skills. During this you can see a mini demonstration on Premiere Pro. I had to refilm the demonstration because the 2020 software crashed, so sorry if it seems basic. If you want an in-depth software tutorial, there are already hundreds online for free, but feel free to contact us with any questions on social media or email. Our contact details will be in the description. At the end of the video I'll point you to more resources, including how to get free software, or software trials. First I'm going to give some general editing advice and organizational advice which is very relevant to the whole editing process. Most editors are self-taught in the way that most artists are. To become good you need to practice a lot, and look at good examples of editing. Our UTV members have access to the media office when campus is back open, which has Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator and more. Find free music and footage to practice with, even if it has a watermark. There are lots of free stock footage websites. Check out archive sites like Archive.org which have some very interesting footage including television and adverts from the 1960s. There are different copyright rules about what you can upload online so check those first before you upload anything. Or, grab your phone and film your own stuff. Use a portable hard drive or memory card. Footage takes up a lot of space and can slow your computer or laptop, so store footage on your hard drive and save and edit the file onto your hard drive. You don't need to pay for the best software. There are lots of free editing softwares, such as DaVinci Resolve, but also great paid softwares with student discount. Message RooTV with any questions. Instagram, Facebook, rutvediting at gmail.com. Now onto the editing process. As soon as possible after filming or receiving the footage, before importing it to your software, look through all your footage, label it, and make rough notes of what you'll use in the video. If you're working with a director or producer, you might involve them in this process. Import footage to your software and check you're happy with the sequence settings you will be editing in. Sync your video and audio if you need to. Assemble the footage and reorder it by your preference. I sometimes do it a section at a time rather than having all the footage on the timeline. Make your first rough cut. Basically trim the clips and have the structure solidified, before you go in and make the edits pretty and refine the details. Keep refining as you do the following. Intro and outro. Maybe you want to use graphics. RooTV would love some graphic designers to join. Add music to decide the tone of the video. Check copyright rules if uploading online. Sound editing and mixing. You can see the decibel levels here. In part 2, Dan will talk about sound mixing and sound levels in depth. Color correction. We will go into detail in another video, probably part 3. Here, RooTV would add subtitles, our logo, and credits. Finish your final edit, if applicable, get producer or director feedback. Keep refining until they are happy with the final edit. Render your sequence before exporting. This basically means you're processing source material into playable footage. It's for smooth playback. Some software does this automatically like Apple's Final Cut Pro. Export in the best settings for your project. H.264 is the most widely used codec on the planet and is frequently produced in the MPEG-4 or MP4 container format. Its high quality 1080p is the best quality I'd recommend as standard. You can use a preset like YouTube. You'll notice that the file size will be bigger or smaller, and the bigger the file the longer it takes to export and upload. I don't know much about what differs between each setting, but selecting the right export setting for different platforms is recommended, as they treat video in different ways. What might play best on YouTube won't be the best format on Facebook. Finally, you're ready to upload. Here's how to get Adobe for free for two months if you're already an Adobe customer. Log into your Creative Cloud account online. Manage your plan. 
Click cancel and they will offer you 2 months for free. If you're not a customer, you can still get a free 7 day trial on their site, and you can get a free trial for other software like Final Cut Pro. Adobe always has a discount for students. Get all the apps for £16.24 a month. You could save 65%. In future videos we're currently planning on discussing. Editing to a professional level, cutting scenes seamlessly, editing for different genres, sound mixing, and later, color correction and anything else you guys request. The most important thing is to keep practicing. Rooty V are still making videos during the lockdown, so become a member to get involved. Otherwise keep an eye out for our next video. From Emmy and Rooty V's new robot, goodbye everyone.